Police in Mississippi have issued an arrest warrant for Benjamin Eugene Dagley. This is the man that ambushed NBC News reporter Shaquille Brewster during live hurricane coverage that I covered earlier this week. Now, this guy, Dagley, has a bizarre criminal history, and I'll get to more on that after I remind you of what happened earlier this week. Here is the clip of him ambushing this NBC News reporter during live hurricane coverage. The biggest sign, the biggest indicator that I saw this morning about the force of the storm last night is that the mail delivery has returned. We saw postal workers going out delivering mail this morning. Just a couple of minutes ago, people were walking their dogs. They're back on the beach right now. And that's the sense that you're getting that the rain has stopped. The wind is still going there. I think we even have a random person going around. You know, I'm going to turn this way because, you know, we deal with some people every once in a while. But, uh, you know, one thing that we are noticing is that the mayor said the curfew is still in effect. The curfew is going to be going on for at least a, until a period of time in which they can go ahead and go and survey all the damage. They did get some reports of some down power lines, of some trees that have fallen, or at least limbs that have fallen. So they're going to go ahead and do that survey to make sure that they're okay. Craig, I'm going to toss it back to you because we have a person yeah. who needs yeah. a little help right now. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. So I covered that early this week, and that video blew up because of just the unique nature of the entire situation. During live hurricane coverage, this guy pulls up in his pickup truck and starts uh, or ambushes and, and assaults this reporter completely nuts. So he'll be charged with, when he's found, he'll be charged with two counts of simple assault, one count of disturbing the peace, and one count of violating an emergency curfew. The curfew, of course, in place during uh, this hurricane. Now, let me uh, first show you his face here of course it wasn't hard to find him considering we saw him on live television and also his pickup truck so police got tips from the public and were able to uh, identify him and so let me get a little more into his history here which is bizarre to say the least so this from nbc news court documents in ohio showed the 54 year old pleaded guilty to vandalism including panic and attempted assault stemming from a 2017 commercial break-in he was sentenced to five years probation and 30 years, uh, 30, sorry, 30 days in jail to go along with a $5,000 fine and $10,000 restitution to Cleveland Plating. But here is where it gets nuts. The business is an electroplating company that Dagley once owned, according to a report by Cleveland.com. Dagley was arrested on suspicion of drilling holes in tanks of dangerous chemicals. Dangerous chemicals. And there are some more details here. First of all, <laughs> like... If there is anybody that you may expect would have drilled holes into tanks of dangerous chemicals, it's this guy. <laughs> the only kind of person that would, uh, you know, ambush a reporter during hurricane coverage, that's the kind of guy you would expect could drill holes into tanks of dangerous chemicals. But more on exactly what these chemicals are. So, uh, according to police, Dagley's drilling holes into the tanks of sodium cyanide, hydrochloric acid, yellow chromate, ferrous chloride, and sulfuric acid risked a potential environmental disaster. Employers told police that Dagley knew what he was doing when he released the chemicals into the air. A 27-year-old security guard who discovered the leaks was taken to the hospital for potential cyanide poisoning. Two months after the incident, Dagley was charged with misdemeanor assault after he once again broke into Cleveland plating with two other accomplices. Once inside, he allegedly yelled at a security guard, slammed a door into their knee, and then punched them in the mouth. Yeah. Why is this guy roaming the streets in Mississippi during a hurricane? Like, <laughs> God. There was a lot of comments on my first video on, on this whole thing where um, people ha had responded saying, if this guy was black and the reporter was white, can you imagine the reaction from the public, from from the media, from police, but it's the other way around. And of course, this guy has a long criminal record and has been on the street for quite a while. And just, he'll probably get a slap on the wrist again. So it's, you know, these are the people, when you see someone that is doing this or drilling holes in tanks of chemicals, these are the people that police should be keeping their eyes on.